Siempre dejan algo atrás. They they always leave something behind. All right, that's what Jackal said, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna get Mirda right here. Yep. A ver esas caras bonitas. She's saying, "Let me see those pretty faces." What is up, everyone, and welcome back to the Sixth Invitational. We're kicking things off here at our de developer series panel, uh, diving into a teaser of Jackal and Mira, and uh, we have uh, so much to talk about, but we're only going to be talking just about the high-level stuff. Uh, and I'm joined by some amazing panelists today, uh, but I'm also joined by some awesome guys right behind me too, uh, part of the TTR. Uh, group that is part of making Siege the the real estate. Got Macy J on the and, right and, and, over there. And they're really dedicated to making sure that uh, that everything we do and you know, on consulting in terms of uh, in terms of uh, realism, in terms of gadgets, armor, and all this gear that they have on them is uh, is accurate as possible. And some of them uh, are even in the game as the background, which is really cool. Uh, but I'm joined by some awesome people. Uh, to my left is Simon, uh, game designer on Rainbow Six Siege. What's up, Simon? Oh, I'm super excited to be here. It's yeah. an amazing event. What did you think of the game so far? Wow, like, I mean, all the games have been, like, so tight, so fair. Like, it's it's really a pleasure to watch. Yeah, it's in, it's kind of insane, too. Really good games, really... Uh, yeah, super high level of yeah, play. Yeah, so good. And we're also joined by JB. What's up, JB? Uh, pretty much the same thing as Simon. I'm very, very stoked, and I can't wait for the match between Continuum and Santos. Great. One of the other game designers on Rainbow Six Siege. Thank you guys uh, so much for joining us. And, of course, we have Macy J, uh, YouTuber and Twitch streamer. <laughs> Got a few fans there, yeah. Macy. <laughs> How's it going, man? It's going great. Yeah, it's how's it uh, been coming to uh, the Sixth Invitational? In uh, it's it's definitely something. Uh, it's exciting to see all the fans and all the enthusiasm from the community. It was a little more exclusive in the past events, but this one it just has everyone here. So nice, nice. Now you were you were in Poland with us. You were and and now you're here. What is it like to be at this event? With uh, with all these screaming fans. Oh, it's 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 something new for me for <laughs> yeah, sure. Like right? uh, I didn't expect it, but the enthusiasm from everyone is is awesome. Cool, cool. Uh, well, without further ado, let's get into the teaser panel part portion of this, uh, where we're going to be looking at Jackal first. Uh, Simon, tell us about Jackal, our new attacker. So Jackal, our new attacker, um, comes equipped with a visor, which he can turn uh, on and off. And it lets them. It lets him see the footprints left by the defenders. Nice. So tell us a little bit about his uh, his loadout here. So his loadout. He comes equipped with the C7E, a 30-round uh, magazine uh, assault rifle. He he also comes equipped with a PDW9, which is a NISMG with a drum barrel with 50 uh, um, uh, bullets. And he also comes equipped with the uh, ITA 12L. Uh, the long version of the shotgun, and as a secondary, he gets the ITA 12S, the short version of it. Wait, 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 wait. He has a shotgun as a secondary. Yes, exactly. Yeah. You'll, you're going to witness some gameplay of it right now. So this is our first Rick look Mark, at Jackal right, right here. All right, that's a Tell secondary shotgun right there. Right so um, you're going to see him, like, right now you can see his visor is, is turned on, and he's using the, the ITA 12S, the secondary shotgun. And right now, he's not seeing any footprints, but, um, yeah, so, uh, but you'll see, you'll, you'll be able to see his gadget in full detail uh, tomorrow during the full reveal, but that's a, a brief glimpse at the, his shotgun and his yeah. primary. Tell us about the shotgun. Is it more utility or is it more lethal? So the way we went to, uh, in, uh, into balancing this shotgun is we wanted to give like um, a utility tool to defenders without having to compromise your, uh, your primary uh, weapon pick. So it's a shotgun that has a large spread uh, that doesn't do that much damage, but like it's, it still has killing power. Nice. Very cool. So once again, you'll be able to see Jackal in our full reveal. Macy J has been uh, uh, playing Jackal as well. Uh, what are your thoughts on, on Jackal? Uh, he's a very strong operator. Uh, I think it's definitely going to deter the roamers, but it's not just for roamers. It, you can find out very easily whether or not people roam or not by tracking whether, say, like they reinforce trap doors. You'll find out. Do they go back to the objective? Do they start roaming? 
It's a very strong operator. Nice, very cool. Uh, now we move on to Mira, and that's where it's a lot Ruby. actually Tell more to a Jackal that they didn't defender. reveal yet. So Mira is our new defender Spanish operator. Uh, and she is your typical defense architect, but she's doing it in a way that really doesn't exist in the game right now. Uh, she can deploy. Uh, she, she can uh, sorry. Uh, she can put like up to two one-way mirror and deploy them in uh, breakable walls or reinforced walls. And uh, by doing that, she can create new line of sights where you never used to see things because it was always reinforced in this place typically. And it's a completely new way to uh, to rethink the defense. And you can like there are probably points that we never saw defended that might become defendable. And uh, our, I, I think it's going to be uh, like really interesting to see how it reshapes uh, the attack and, and defense gameplay. That's a really interesting gadget we've seen uh, in, in the teaser. Now tell us a little bit about her, her, her loadout as well. So she's coming equipped with the, the same uh, two shotguns that Jekyll also has. So she can definitely use I think she's a so one she speed well operator a, based on her uh, armor. Like an, an architect uh, tool as well. She can blow a bunch of holes and uh, create new passages like uh, defenders already do. She has a long version as well, but I think her most exciting new weapon is definitely the Vector. Uh, oh boy, wait, did you just say Vector? Yeah, yeah, she's coming oh equipped with uh, the Vector. So that's a very iconic weapon, which I think most of our gamers already know. Um, it's, it has a very, very specific uh, signature and silhouette, a very specific sound as well, and obviously a very high rate of fire. That's so, an extremely high rate of fire. That looks yeah. really fun to play, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's very, very deadly weapon. Nice, very cool. Uh, so once again, you'll be able to see Jackal and Mira during the full uh, full reveal. But uh, Macy, you got a ha get, got your hands on Mira as well. What did you think of her? Uh, she's gonna definitely shake up the meta and make it more leaning towards hunkering down into the objective. Bandit tricking, super easy now. You can see exactly where Thermite's planting. You can expect grenades through drone holes, all of it. Nice. Now, uh, JB, going back to her her, her uh, Black Mirror gadget, can it be? Can it? Is it breakable? Can you shoot through it? So the thing is, you can break it with uh, thermite or Hibana, but like uh, Machia just said, obviously the fact that she can see you doing it makes it a lot more complicated. But there's another part of the gadget that we're not revealing yet that we will talk about tomorrow. I which knew it. Make okay. Things a bit yeah, there's a lot more Mira information on Mira that's not be being revealed yet. It's super interesting, really. Uh, I cannot wait to, for players to play Jackal and Mira on uh, February 7th with the season pass uh, for, for season pass holders, which is going to be really awesome. Uh, alongside uh, Jackal and Mira, with, the, with that year two pass, you'll be able to get these brand new uniforms for, uh, for, for these two new operators, which we can take a look at right now. Uh, Ooh, new uniforms. Exclusive to the season pass. Here we go. Uh, so with, if, when you get the year two pass, you'll, you'll get these unlocked uh, right Im immediately. That one's for, for Jekyll, and that one's for... Uh, for okay. Right there. So if you have the that season vector, pass, you get these exclusive skins here. so sexy, man. Dude, it's can't, beautiful. I can't wait for players to play that. Uh, once again, also, we're, we're introducing a new Elite set for oh, here we go. Rook this time. And uh, the Elite uniforms... Woo! Oh my uh, god, he's a tank. Here. The Elite uniforms are, once again, top to, to uh, head to toe, unique customization. Uh, and also a new winning animation screen. Uh, what's really cool about that is when he put, puts down his plates, yeah, the, those are customized as well. So a uh, really cool elite uniform coming your way. Uh, so that just so about wraps things up. Thank what you Justin guys so says much for is, tuning uh, into the We'll pause it. We can keep watching. So Justin says, uh, based on Rook Elite's armor, when he puts down his armor, it's going to be unique. It's going to look different. So I don't know if only like his uh, box or square thing looks unique, or if you even pick up the armor and wear it, your operator looks different with an armored Kevlar. Once again, you can uh, find look uh, look at, check out the full reveal tomorrow during the Fel Velvet Shell full reveal panel, where Macy J will be playing and all of our awesome community leaders that have been invited to this event. Uh, now we have one more PC semifinal coming up. Any predict predictions for you guys? Oh man, it's a tough it's one. So hard. Like, I think. Continuum's gonna take it, but part of me wants Brazil to uh, to win. Yeah, absolutely. The Brazilian team is really aggressive and really good. Yeah, yeah. They've been a huge surprise at this tournament. It's uh, it's a pleasure. JB, to see. any bold predictions? So hard as well. Like, I I guess I would be even more excited by a final between uh, Era and Santos because of having two continents clashing. But Continuum is so strong and stable that I really don't know what's gonna happen. It's gonna be a crazy match, that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Macy, any bold predictions? I, I'm going Continuum. I play with <laughs> and against them all the time. They're a solid team, so. 
All right, nice. Well, I, 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 I'm with Continuum 2, but I'm, I'm hoping the uh, Brazilian team is going to pull out a really awesome game for us, and it would be a really cool surprise to see them uh, move on to the finals as well. That's for sure. Cool. Well, that is uh, all we have time for today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, once again, coming up after this are the PC semifinals 2, followed by the map teaser. And then uh, we move on to Xbox semifinals, uh, followed by the tech Q&A. So thanks a lot for tuning in. All right, so that's all we got right now. There's actually a lot more to uh, Mira and Jackal that they didn't reveal yet, and that'll be revealed tomorrow. Uh, you only got one small... Um, spec of their ability. There's actually a lot more to abilities. There's like a two part to both Mirda and Jackal's ability and that's uh, we be revealed tomorrow. We got to look on new skins, we got to look at the vector gameplay and as well as the new shotguns added to the game. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button for you so you guys get notified on all the new Rainbow Six Siege uh, content and don't forget to um, uh, win the giveaway you guys want to copy Rainbow Six Siege and the game is in the description for you guys. Alright, I gotta uh, make some stuff. I'll see you in a bit.